Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, uh, ENT surgeon practicing in Ashwanpur and I specialize in a field called Sile Endoscopy, that is endoscopy of the salivary glands. Now salivary glands are divided into major salivary glands and minor salivary glands. The major salivary glands are the parotid glands and the submandibular glands and the sublingual glands and uh, minor salivary glands are interspersed all over the upper uh, aerodigestive tract like you will find it in the back portion of your nose, in the soft palate, on the tongue, on the back uh, of your throat as well as in, uh, in and around your uh, uh, windpipe, upper part of your windpipe. Parotid glands are situated in front of your ears, the submandibular glands are situated below your jaw and the sublingual glands are situated below the tongue that is in the floor of the mouth. Now, uh, salivary gland stones are called as siloliths. The most common gland in which siloliths occur are in the submandibular gland, that is the gland which is below the jaw. This particular gland is situated in such a way that the saliva has to flow against gravity and it has to flow out of uh, the ductal system under the tongue just behind your lower uh, incisor teeth. Because it has to flow against gravity and uh, because the, this particular gland produces a viscid or a thickish saliva, the chances of stagnation is high. Now any stagnation can lead to secondary infection. That is how uh, there is a nidus for accumulation of certain minerals and causing stone formation. But that doesn't mean it doesn't occur in parotid glands, it can occur also in parotid glands. Though the incidence in parotid glands is far less as compared to submandibular uh, gland.